What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a seven string showdown. Now we did one of these recently and I'll link that video up here, uh, but today's kind of special because both of these guitars are Schecter's this time around. Both of these guitars cost the exact same price. Currently they retail for $14.49 here in the US. And both of these seven string guitars have the same exact scale length of 26 and a half inches. That is where the similarities end. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I've had the C7 SLS Elite in my possession for a while. I actually decided to keep this because it is so much fun to play. It's so comfortable. It just feels great. Looks amazing. This thing is an absolute killer. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite guitars here at the home studio. I'm putting it up against the Aaron Marshall AM7, also by Schechter. Now, a lot of people will tell you that the bolt-on necks are generally snappier, brighter, crisper sounding, but I found that this guitar, whether it's the woods that are used or the strings, I don't know, it just has a more bassy tone, even acoustically. It just sounds a lot warmer and bassier overall. So I thought it might be cool to play the exact same song with both of these guitars. So I wrote a little demo track. I'll play it here for you in just a moment. And I'm gonna play it for you twice. We're gonna play it first with the C7 and then with the Aaron Marshall, just to hear the differences in tone, all that kind of stuff. One other thing I wanna to mention too is that the Aaron Marshall, I'm gonna be playing it in drop A while the C7 is in drop G sharp. So there's a half step difference in, in sound, but otherwise everything else is gonna be exactly the same. Let's check out the demo tracks now. what sets these two guitars apart. I misspoke earlier uh, when I said that both guitars are the same price. The C7 SLS is actually $50 cheaper, not that much, but I was looking at the Floyd Rose version. This is the hardtail, so sorry about that. The C7 SLS is a swamp ash body, neck through build, seven piece uh, maple and walnut neck, ebony fingerboard, stainless steel frets, offset inlays. Uh, this has a 12 to 16 inch compound radius, we're looking at Fishman Fluence pickups, hip shot, uh, hip shot up here. We've got an Ernie Ball compensated nut. And then you've got your push pull for some split coil stuff. That's this one. The Aaron Marshall has pretty much everything different. <laughs> it's a basswood body, it's a bolt on neck, it's a Wenge three piece, all Wenge neck. 
Ebony fingerboard, stainless steel fret, same as the other one. Offset inlays, these are different. These are those aluminum dots, they're pretty cool. Uh, this has just a straight across 16 inch radius all the way across the neck. And he's using the Pasadena uh, bridge and neck pickups from Schechter. Hip shot again, hip shot tuners. This has a Graftec XL uh, tusk nut. The other one has the Ernie Ball compensated nut. And this has the five way blade switch instead of the push pull pots. So there you go. These two guitars could not be more different, honestly. Okay, let's talk about the necks real quick. So as you know, the C7 has the ultra thin C-shaped neck, and this is just a thin C-shaped neck, and it's a little bit thicker. You can feel it, you can see it. Uh, so if you care for the thicker necks, go with this one, thinner necks right here. Um, like I said before, the C7 has a spankier, crisper, brighter tone, which is more in keeping with the kind of tones I'm trying to get, but this has a warmer, bassier tone maybe that's something that you want so maybe you want to look into this it is beautiful i will say that i mean it's not even my favorite color but the finish is great the neck is unbelievably gorgeous you know it's got that reversed uh angled headstock so if that's your thing there you go you're all set uh there's nothing you want to change on this this is good to go it's not really a mod project it's not that kind of thing for 1450 uh you want to make sure you know it plays well and it feels well and it's got the specs that you're looking for right off the bat for the money can't go wrong with this thing. Uh, if you want to get a little more information, a little more detail on this Aaron Marshall guitar, check out the links below to zounds.com. I've gotten a link down there. And uh, my affiliate links, you know, don't cost you a penny to use. So just check it, click on it, check them out. And if you want to make a purchase, wouldn't hurt the channel at all. See what you think of it. You know, maybe it's something for you. Um, I have yet to try out any other Aaron Marshall guitars. I'd like to get some more of those on the channel. But for now, I'm having a lot of fun with this one. And uh, it's a killer deal, man. I think you can't go wrong with this thing. Beautiful, if that's your color, if that's your finish, you know, go for it. There's nothing you would dislike really about this guitar. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to show a little compare and contrast between these two seven string guitars. And the winner is really up to you. So like I said before, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, which one's better and why, or which one's worse and why. But for me, all day, it's gonna be this one. It just feels better in the hand. Um, it's a little more, I don't know how to say it, stable maybe, it's just, that neck through construction, you can't beat it. I mean, it's not going anywhere, first of all. And although these have the same top carve, it's kind of a shallow violin carve, I guess, if you want to call it something, a kind of slight arch top. This one just feels a little bit more comfortable under the forearm for some reason. I don't know why, it just does. And let's be honest, man. I'm a red guy. I like reds, pinks, purples, anything in that kind of vein. And this is like one of my favorite colors ever right here. It's just gorgeous. Oh my God. Love this thing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you have not already. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya!